Mic check. Yo, yo. What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. And I got some more stuff to show y'all. Did you say Chanel patches? Y'all need some Chanel patches? You want to rock out with Chanel patches? Well, I'm the Chanel patch god. All right, we're going to get into some Chanel patches right after my intro. <laughs> All right, y'all, so back in February, I showed you guys this right here, this um, this design that I made via the Stars program called uh, Catworks Live. This is for my new Mifrasi uh, sweatsuit uh, that, I, that I'm coming out with, and um, this is the final product of the patches that I got made for the sweatsuit. This patch right here is six by 15 inches in size. It's gonna be the large frontal patch that's gonna go on, you know, the hoodies. And I got a smaller version that's gonna go on the sweatpants. Let me show y'all that. So this smaller version is the three by seven inch version. And let me tell y'all something. Yo, these patches came out pretty flawless, man. They fire. All right. Um. Now. Now, color wise, you know you got your. You got your black Chanel in there. You got your brown Chanel in there. You got your, you got your red Chanel in there. You got your green. You got your royal blue. You got your orange. You got your yellow. You got your turquoise and you got your chocolate. All right. And I hit it with a white contour and a black contour with like the, the baby blue felt on, a, on the outside as the background. All right. Now, I told you guys before, like I'm a control freak. That's why I keep getting like all these Chanel patches made because it's to me, to me, it's, it's more beneficial for me to just get the patches made separately that way i can pick and choose which color materials i want them to go on now i could easily get these whole sweatsuits made uh via mass production and just like a one-shot deal pay one fee and have the manufacturer just make the whole suit so on the chimnail patch and so on and so forth but i'm the type that okay if i do one colorway I'm going to definitely want to do another colorway. And then you never know. You might get locked into buying all these orders. Excuse me, buying all these buying all these uh these quantities of one color and then your customers your customers may not like that particular color. They may want another color. So I feel like this way you get the patches made up, you throw out a few colors, you see what the customers want, then you rock out that way. You see what's beneficial for you and your brand. All right, so I'm going to take these patches and I'm going to start off with, I got a black, I got a black colorway that I'm going to put out and I got like this aqua like green colorway that I'm going to put out, but I'm eventually going to put out some more colorways as well. Okay, so here's the patch. I'm going to bring it in close so y'all can see like the details on it. Okay, so this is not, this is not, um, I'm not doing the iron on back. I'm actually going to bring these joints to my tailor and let my tailor make up the suits for me. I'm going to bring the, I'm going to bring the smaller version in closer to the camera too. So you guys can see the details on that as well. So, 
So I named this particular uh, Chanel patch and this uh, sweatsuit the Mifasi People's Champ. All right, so for years, I mean, you guys know if you've been following me for a while, I don't do bottoms. I always just do tops, uh, just hoodies and sweatshirts and stuff like that. But people have been asking me for years, man, you should do like sets, you should do like sets. And I was totally against it. I'm like, nah, nah, I don't, I'm not really feeling sets. And that was just my own, you know, uh, selfishness because I was never like the set type of person. You know, I wasn't that type to go out and just buy like a uh, a matching whatever set. I'm not going to mention nobody else's brand name because this is all about my brand right now. But anyways, I never was that type. I would just always, you know, buy like a hoodie and match it, you know, with some fresh fly jeans and whatever. Or if I did buy some sweatpants, I would just rock, I would just like rock like a uh, a fresh uh, fly tee. But um. Yeah, this this is my new Mifrasi Chanel patch. Leave in the comments. Let me know if you guys like it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't um so you don't miss any more of my content. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm not you know what I'm not even gonna leave the link down below of the company that I got this made with. If you guys haven't. Uh, if you haven't um, followed me on Instagram, make sure you you follow me on Instagram. Anybody that's that wants to know why I got these joints made, hit me up in my DMs on IG, and I tell you, I right, I'm leaving it just like that, you know, because I I noticed that you know a lot of people come through. I'm dropping these gems, they not even subscribing. All right, so if you really want to know why I got these joints made, I'll let you know. Just hit me up on IG. Leave me a DM, but make sure you subscribe first, all right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to show you guys. I got um, I got some sweatsuits that I'm going to bring over to my tailor. I'm going to show you guys a mock-up of how the patches are going to look once they're laid out on the hoodie and on the pants, all right? Y'all ready? Y'all still rocking with your boy, right? Hey, y'all, I know I haven't made a video in a minute, man. Uh... Because, man, I've been busy with some real life stuff, man. At the crib, man. I'm trying to get the crib ready for the summertime. I bought a new pool. You know what I'm saying? So I got the pool up. Um, trying to get the landscaping proper, you know, for the pool. So once the weather get real nice, your boy out there, you know, with his top off. You know what I'm saying? Laying in that pool. Letting that sun bake on my face. You know, that fresh fly clear water splash on my chest. You know what I'm saying? Taco meat out. You know what I'm saying? Summertime vibes, baby. But that's enough of that. Y'all don't want to hear that, man. Y'all want to see this fresh fly shit. I know. Hold on. Here we go. All right, y'all. So this is how them joints going to look once they on the sweatshirt and the sweatpants. All right. So as you can see, let me just move that. That's just a plain black hooded sweatshirt. But boom, once you throw that Chanel patch on that joint, you're taking your joint to a whole different level, baby. Look at that. A whole different level. Then you hit them with the pants. Boom. Okay, placement going to be like right there. All right. So this is why I do what I do as far as getting the patches made and not, you know, getting them made. And not getting just the whole sweatsuit made from a manufacturer. So I can actually grab it, see how it's going to look placement wise. If I don't like something, move move it. Or once I, you know, once I get tired of the black or once the customer gets tired of the black, I could boom, hit you with like a red or something. Or white, you know, or something funky. Like a, a baby blue. You know what I'm saying? Like anything. All right, so that's it for this video. Let me know how y'all feel about the new Me Frosty People's Champ sweatsuits. And um, don't forget, like I said, if y'all want to know where I got these patches made, make sure y'all follow me on IG at Direction CYOP Garments. Hit me up in the DM. And I'll give you the lowdown. 
I ain't trying to keep nothing from y'all. I'm just trying to build this thing up, man. I'm giving y'all all this information. You know? Rock with y'all, boy. Hope y'all working hard on your brands. Like I always say, choose your own path. Skip it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.